the words low battery appear right before your eyes. You take off your VR headset and realize your whole life was just a VR simulation which you've been playing for only a few minutes. How do you react? I'll be amazed how I managed to get fucked up in a game where I am supposed to be the protagonist. It turns out your controller was broken so you couldn't activate any of your powers, making you no better than the NPCs. Still better than the other half of the scoreboard somehow. Just like the simulation, lies, deception. Deception, lies. I can't see anyone has mentioned it yet. But there was a Redditor once who actually had this sensation after a concussion. He lived a whole lifetime, came to and realized it wasn't real, and struggled with depression because his wife and children never existed and he missed and so much. I don't know how real it was but it's hard not to feel pity. Edit, I remember that story, our minds are just interpretation machines and define what is real. The mind f from your whole life being VR would not be good. The real world you woke up to would likely be a horribly depressing one. Well, since apparently you chose to play the game it's safe to assume that when you quit it, you're at most going to go, dang, this run was going well. Now, where's my replacement battery? Remember, it's actually only been a few minutes. And when you woke up, you'd certainly remember that in all your real memories. Why would you start playing a VR game that was certain to give you a depressing mindfuck? I look, ah oh fuck, I'm still fat. Test to see if you're on the real world or dreaming by cutting your belly off with rusty scissors. Scooping, I turn down the difficulty and try again. I google, life sim VR cheat code, add god. Well since I can afford the VR setup I must be richer in this new life. So I'd be pretty stoked honestly. On the other hand, everyone owns a headset in Ready Player One. Even the people living in a shitty trailer. It could just be a basic tool in that world, you're still in a massively more technologically advanced society. It'd be like going from medieval merchant to modern-day sales assistant. Lower status, sure, but think of all the quality of life improvements. WTF. It's only been a few minutes, so why is it on low battery? It's a faulty VR headset. My life is a faulty VR headset. Sounds about right. Steal batteries from the TV remote and keep playing, duh. I'd throw the VR set away and keep the dead batteries as a reminder that I should never fuck with VR again. Just don't touch the long form experiences category again, you'll be fine. Why did I go back to the carpet store after beating cancer? Shoulda went off grid. No social security, that's how it's done. Holy shit, this guy's going off the grid, this guy doesn't have a social security number for Roy. Thank fuck for that. Uninstall the Interesting Times DLC and restart. Not sure how they got away with releasing a shoddy beta as premium content. I go online and find a walkthrough so I don't fail miserably again. I'll continue later and proceed to make dinner. Today's special cereal box with rotten meat. As you guessed, I'm a Raku. Hello, Ra big fan. Loved your work in Guardians of the Galaxy. OMG, how specist can you be? Just because you see a raccoon you think it's the same as every raccoon. How can you live with yourself? Gods, that was awful. Way too arbitrary. Pay to win. And what's with the loot boxes? This game sucks. To be fair, it only uses in-game currency. What if all rich people secretly are pay to win players? Carrot I carrot am carrot shock. Hey you sold a gun to a guy who kills people. You beat cancer, then went back to working at the carpet store. Let me show you how it's done. Depends is my real name Dwayne Dibbly or Jake Bullet. I'm Dwayne D-I-B-B-L-Y. I'd probably cry and have an emotional breakdown because my husband was just an elaborate AI. Or something. I had a son a week ago. I would lose. Oh my god I'm free. Oh my god. It's over. Finally, I'm free to live my life, here, in this underscore real underscore reality. I've been given a gift. I can start again. Taking what I learned from the experience to better myself and others. This life was indistinguishable from the simulation. 
but still I will choose to live with the dignity of knowing my life is truly my own again. I take a moment to examine myself. I touch my fleshy fingertips to the scales of my foul flesh. A large sack of fat tissue encompasses my body. Oh, no, how long was I in there? And this, what is this, I ask, as I yank the tubes from my swollen red armus, yeah. What happened to me? This is what I really am, I'll just have to turn some things around, I can do it. I take a look at my surroundings. I'm in a minuscule room, with nothing but my chair and a metal door. This is awful, have I really been plugged in this whole time? A little exercise will help, I try to pull myself up to my feet, but end up simply pulling myself into the cold, filthy carpet of my dwelling. My legs, oh my god my legs are gone, I examine them, they've been amputated. I try so hard to remember the time before the simulation, but it's no use. That was so long ago, right, oh, right, I try to remember, a family, a friend, anyone, I drag myself to the door and push it ajar, the sight I behold is difficult to describe, to the left and right of my chamber, is a line of others that stretch as far as I can see, and beyond that, is nothing, collapsing buildings, dried up riverbeds, mounds of garbage left to decay, leaving only the non-degradable filth behind, Dirt devoid of grass, or life for that matter. There is no, it's pitch, only an enormous rubbled moon reflecting a blinding light. From the sun, I stare in awe and horror. Then, the ambient temperature begins to rise very quickly. I easily break a sweat. Peeking over the horizon, is the sunrise. I watch as Earth's sun raises itself above the jagged horizon of derelict buildings and craters. The sun slowly encompasses the entire sky, easily a thousand times larger than it should be. It's blood, as my skin begins to blister painfully. I drag myself back inside as quickly as I can and I slam the chamber closed. I pull myself into my seat and slip the goggles on again. Simulation 223 sim time duration, 84 years real time duration, 180 seconds would you like to begin? underscore yes underscore look man i don't know who the hell you think you are but have my damn upvote and never do that shit again all right probably cry for a very long time all my experiences the feelings pain love happiness the people i knew and how content i am with my life are n none of it existed and i would long for it deeply the only other thing I would ask myself is why tf did I have the depression debuff? Ooh, you should sit there and read existential sci-fi. Start with Philip K. Dick, he's the seminal class, then you can question whether anything at all is real. And what the hell, real, is even supposed to mean? Absolute, his short stories are absolutely stunning, and absolutely paranoid. Immediately load it up again knowing that it's a simulation and also knowing how historical events and the stock market are going to play out. Let's get- Oh and also super rich, the stocks are procedurally generated. RC Cola and Tab are the two major competing soda brands. Texas Instruments makes the OS on nearly every computer in the world. And Ask Jeeves has nearly bought every company and taken over the world. This is very unsettling for some reason. Ha, huh. humans, what a crazy ass species for the devs to think up. Dude, I suck at this. I charge it and go back, if 31 years has only been a few minutes. I can see out this life, and be back to my other life in time for tea. Check if my dick is still a disappointment, and what if you actually a girl thinking face? Did I s- what kind of sick, twisted, asshole wrote that storyline? Edited to close the fucking quotes. Did I s- I'm so relieved it isn't true. I get that feeling sometimes so I get a little, I told you so, hi, then go about my day. I really wasted my twenties. And I never should have gone back to the carpet store after surviving cancer. Oh thank two stuff Dwayne did post a very strongly warded review on how shitty and boring the game is. Wanted to quit anyway. What kind of sick game is this? I would have. I'd be effectively dead. The person who was playing the simulation would have to react to it instead. 
I hope they hated every minute of it, the stupid jerk. This made me anxious. It would explain a lot. Also, this reminds me of the Red Dwarf episode. I found out my life is a video game Rick and Morty play. Get annoyed at how shitty I was doing. Change the batteries, plug it in, whatever. Start to pick a different character. Wake up and hear someone say, Hey you, you're finally awake. Check the mirror and hope my real body isn't also one I hate. Turns out you thought it was funny to turn all the sliders on the character creator to the extremes. Then I take off that headset. Then the net, then the net, carrot, then carrot, carrot, the carrot, 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 net.